okay so today we will see like a seismic analysis okay okay so i will go with the structure wizard directly here we can go for frame models and here we can able to like uh, have some changes okay okay so here we have a length of uh, 10 meter width of 15 meter height of 15 meter okay and then uh, we have in length two base and then width also two base which means 5 meter 5 meter 7.5 7.5 and then 15 3 meter interval so totally five floors we have okay okay yeah or we can just uh, go for some other also we will just go here uh, like uh, 15 here also 15 height i will go for 30 okay and here i will okay. go 5 5 uh, and then here i will go for 10 so totally having 3 3 meter and then 3 3 meter and then uh, height of 3 3 meter as well so this is what the structure looks like okay i will close it now immediately you need to go for uh, support fix it support and also property property i will go for uh, the same of uh, 0.35 uh, for rectangle which means so i send to view okay okay now i will go for loads and definition in loads and definition we need to first go for definition for the seismic analysis go for seismic definition click add now you can just go here and select the code you want we have lots of codes now we are going to discuss indian standard 1893 2002 2005 Okay, you can select the code what you want, and then we can able to go for. Yes, sir. What you will select in Dubai? What is that? You cannot select Indian standard in Dubai. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we, we can't. We can't select. So what you can? So we can just go for uh, uh, American standards. So some other codes we can select. Okay, see here we have American standard codes. Okay, first I will go with the Indian standard. Then we will try with American standards also. Okay. because i am going to tell you like how like stat pro is effective with uh, manual calculation so for that mm -hmm. uh, i have an excel sheet in on the basis of indian codes that's why then later we can able to go for some other codes okay okay so you need to select that and click generate when you generate right you can select the city or we can able to select the zone for example it is agra if i am telling 0.16 if you changing then the values it will be automatically changed see these things it depends on the code book in code book also we have these values i will continue with the uh, agra itself and then response uh, reduction we can take uh, any of this available uh, data okay now i will go with the special rc moment resisting frame that is like by default and then general building okay or we can go for important building if it is like a hospital or a college or some kind of thing important building i will go with general building and then uh, rock or soil type i will go for a uh, medium soil okay or whatever you are choosing depends uh, the values depends particularly on that i will go with hard soil itself <laughs> then i will go for a rc frame building in dubai in dubai which type of soil we, we should select uh that that depends on the soil report so uh, before excavation and everything right they will be like uh, having some taste of the soil yeah so based on the soil test they will give you one report that report will tell you which kind of soil it is then accordingly you need to plan okay anyway i will go for hard soil i will generate this when you generate now all this value 0.165 everything it will be getting updated now you need to add it when you add then it will ask for self weight joint weight member weight element weight reference load and everything now don't go for self weight i will directly go for floor weight and where i will put a dead load and live load okay so for example like uh, only the roof having different load and uh, all the levels below the roof which will be having a, a live load of uh, 12 kN and then dead load of uh, a 4 kN but as per the indian code we need to take 50 percentage of the live load as imposed load so which means like a dead load of 12 and then live load of 2 kN for all the floor and then dead load of 10 and then live load zero for roof so all this uh, four combination since uh, live load for roof is zero we are not going to consider it so totally we are going to put the three load combinations which means three floor loads okay in the ranges i will go for 12 this is like a uh, dead load for all the floor except the roof then you need to just take this and then mark uh, 030 right 
okay zero uh, three zero this range is you know how to put it and here 15 27 15 15 27 15 so add since it is pressure load no need to put minus okay and immediately the same we are going for a, a live load imposed load of 50 percentage 4 into minus 4 into 0.5 it will be 2 kilo newton i will be adding that also okay then we can just go for close it then again i will go for add then we will get the fresh one so better to go for roof separately 0 30 0 right so 0 uh, 30 0 for minimum at the same time maximum here 15 30 15 so 15 so 30 15 so how much 10 kilometer dead load okay okay now all the things uh, we defined okay now we can go for load case detail click this and plus add then we can select the seismic and then we can just go for seismic in uh, x direction and uh, seismic in uh, either direction then we can add here seismic load so go for seismic load x direction add and then slz add seismic load is the direction factor of one add only in the positive x and is the direction we will take okay okay now we can just go for analysis and print and then all add now you can go for analyze see now we have zero error view output file then here we can directly go for time period control f you can search for time period enter then we are getting a time period uh, these values 0.9614 sa by g value 1.04 and then vb base shear base shear is 509.26 kN for the total uh, structure okay so this is like a total weight of the structure 30600 this we can manually also calculate i will uh, go here so I will just make a copy of it. This is like I calculated manually using the code references. Okay, here, yes, is it right? 0.16 we have taken for Agra. Okay, and then for T, we need to find uh, how much it is. See, 0.075 into H power 0.75. H means total height of the building. So total height of the building in the sense, how much we put? So 15 uh, and then uh, three, three base, uh, five base, I guess. Okay. And then this is also like... Uh, base but here it is like a 30 and then 10 this is correct right that you can able to just uh, refer here this is 15 15 and then 30 okay so total height is 30 right so we need to put 30 here so that uh, based on the formula it will be getting updated 0.96 when uh, time period, right, uh, it is coming 0.96, then we need to refer uh, something like here for SA by G value. Since it is like uh, 0.96, right, we need to take 1.36 divided by T. Because, but we have taken a uh, hot soil, right? Then we need to take 1 by T. So we can just go here, just to put 1 and then divided by T. So this is what the SA by G value. See, the same SA by G value we have in the stat pro also, 1.04. And here also 1.04, okay. Okay. Now, like uh, we need to find the total load of the building. So here we can update uh, length and width 15 cross 15 and then 15 plus 15, 15 cross 15, everything. Okay. But here, how many loads? Like uh, not five. Here we have 10 floor. We need to put that nine, which means like uh, this is like a dead load and then live load of the other floors. And this is for the roof. So this into nine, we have nine floors, right? Apart from roof. Then this is what uh, the result. We will check the stat pro result. See the start pro result also the same, 509.26. Okay. For seismic, we mostly study the base here. Okay. Yeah, great. It's in. Yeah, yeah. So you can just change any of this. Okay. Like uh, because like uh, both are 100 percentage perfect. Okay. This uh, code book, right? IS 1893 part. Uh, Three, I guess. See here also you have that one. If you are worried about that, here you can just go highest uh, 1893 code. Okay. So this is what the seismic analysis. Like this, you can just analyze with the uh, self weight and also with the other loads. Then after you can go for concrete design and everything, then obviously you will get result. 
but if you are going for seismic analysis you need to first go for seismic definition and then go for seismic uh, loads then analyze and then you can go for other loads and then uh, concrete design otherwise like you will get error because seismic definition is important it need to be uh, given before any other loads okay Uh, no, no, because uh, I, I, I included all the loads in the dead load and live load for the floor weights itself. No, I'm, I'm saying we have not defined the section for the members. No section. Uh, section we have designed. Uh, we, we have. Uh, we have like uh, see for example here now, but no because without section uh, we can't able to go for analysis. See here we have point three five cross point three five. This is what you are asking. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, this is uh, no use because we are not considering self weight. But if you are not putting, yeah. uh, the software will not analyze for us because then it will show you the errors. Yes, that's why. That's why. See, and then we can also go for a post processing and then click OK. And here we can see the reactions, displacements, and then animation. So go for animation and then go for deflection or a sectional displacement. Click OK. See, then we can able to see the animation. how the structure going to behave like that this is just like animation okay so you are okay with this uh, seismic uh, load analysis right yes it's simple okay you go for wind load i'm saying can can we go for wind load oh ah, yeah yeah we can go for wind load yeah yeah so i will take the same seismic analysis for this building itself we will go for a wind load okay then we can go for general loads and definition then we need to go for here wind definition click add and then we can add this one okay then we can go for add again then we are getting uh, this kind of window in this window we can just go for putting manual values okay otherwise we can just go for american standards see we have american standards mm -hmm. then you can click that okay and you can select the uh, which standard of code 2010 code and then which category of building category 2 or category 3 or category 4 okay like that we can select category 1 i am selecting and then uh, basic wind speed how much this you need to like uh, take from your uh, records for example i will take a basic wind speed as uh, 120 this we can refer okay and then exposure b or exposure c and these things we can refer and then we can as per the code we can refer okay and this is for the building structure or any other chimney or uh, open signs this i will go for building okay and is this uh, building uh, situated over hills or escarpment no i guess i will put no and then i will go for okay i will put then as per the things we are getting the values no need to put manually it will automatically take as per the data okay now i will add it and after it is asking for factor for exposure see mostly most of the building is not it's not completely covered it will be having some openings right so that is what the exposure i will put uh, for this building point uh, 0.75 exposure which means like rest of the building might be open i didn't yeah. understand no this is like a building na we will be having some windows and then openings and everything mm -hmm. right so totally if it is like totally closed it is like one mm -hmm. and if you are having some opening i will take that opening factor as 25 percentage so that's why i putting 0.75 factor here okay so 0.75 of the total building going to affect with the wind load okay and then this you can assign to view okay now we can just go for load case detail and add and then now here we can just go for win load okay win load and then win load in x direction win load in z direction okay and then we can go for add and here we can just go for wind load okay now we can just go uh, in x direction add and also minus x direction uh, add okay close and then wz add wind load is the direction add minus is the direction add okay wind it will be possible for all the four direction right you can able to see how the wind going to affect okay This is what the wind definition and then wind load. Now we can go for analysis. It's already it's automatically applied. Ah, it will automatically apply. Okay, it should be like this. It should cover all the portion of the building anyway. You output file done. Okay. So we can able to see the 
Details of each notes. Okay. That's it. This is what the and then we can just go for uh, our concrete design and everything. This is like uh, separate for big buildings. Seismic analysis, wind wind load analysis. Okay. Apart from that, then we can go for concrete design. That is similar. Okay. 